हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर क्लास एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी द डिफेक्ट्स ऑफ विजन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर सेवन लेंसेस टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू द फार साइटेडनेस दैट इज कॉल्ड द हाइपर मेट्रोपिया सो वी विल गो थ्रू आवर साइंस बुक सो ओपन योर पेज नंबर एटी एट द पॉइंट टू द सेकेंड डिफेक्ट्स ऑफ विजन फार साइटेडनेस in this defect the human eye can see the distinct object clearly yes in a near sightedness human eye can see the nearby object clearly but in a far sightedness the human eye can see the uh, distinct object clearly this means that the near point of eye is no longer at 25 cm it's remember the uh, human eye is no long, longer at 25 cm but shift further away as shown in the figure uh, in a normal vision the image formed by this lens okay this is a uh, lens in the human eye so image formed on the retina on the retina but in the case of near sightedness or far sightedness the image formed uh, in front of retina or in the behind the retina so in case of far sightedness in case of far sightedness here you can see in the middle picture the image formed behind the retina this is retina and image formed behind the retina in case of myopia or near sightedness this image formed in front of retina but in case of far sighted sightedness image formed behind the retina clear then um, there are two reason behind this here are two reasons first is the curvature of cornea and eye lens decreases curvature of eye lens decreases so the converging power of lens becomes decrease and then point number 2 uh, in case of uh, near sightedness the curvature increases that's why the converging power increases but in case of far sightedness the first first point um, curvature of cornea and eyeball uh, eye lens decreases so that the converging power of lens becomes less then second point due to the flattening of the eyeball the distance between the lens and retina decrease the distance between lens and retina decrease okay this is a lens and this is a retina so distance between lens and retina decreases clear so these are the two points um these are the reason for uh, far sightedness or hypermetropia then this defects can corrected by using a convex lens this convex lens in case of near sightedness we use the concave lens okay but in the case of far sightedness we use the convex lens this is a converging lens and uh, this converge the light ray and the image formed using this convex lens this spectacles the image formed on the retina and human eye can see the clear image of object so this defects can be corrected by using the convex lens with a proper focal length um, the focal uh, fo focal length is depend on the um, magnitude of the far sightedness these lens converge the incident ray before they reach the lens the lens then converge them to form the image on the retina this lens converge the light ray to form the image on retina before using this lens in case of far sightedness the image formed behind the retina but after using the con uh, convex lens image formed on the retina this is a difference clear then the focal length of convex lens is positive focal the length of concave lens is negative and convex lens is positive so thus the spectacles used to correct the far sightedness has a positive power the power of these lens is different depending on the extent of the far sightedness clear students i hope you understood this today's lecture uh, our next topic next effect is a Uh, presbyopia 
So here three defects, uh, near sightedness, then far sightedness and third one is a press biopia. Generally the focusing power of eye lens decreases with age. The muscles near the lens lose their ability to change the focal length of lens. The near point of lens shift farther from the eyes. Because of this old people, because of the old age, um, people can not see uh, nearby objects clearly. Cannot see nearby objects clearly. Sometimes people suffer from nearsightedness as well as farsightedness. In such a case, bifocal length, bifocal that means having a two focal point. So they people uh, use a bifocal lens are required to correct the defects. Good. Because in this case, in case of both nearsightedness and farsightedness, and this is because of the old age, they use a bifocal lens to correct the defects. In such a lens, uh, the upper part is concave lens, upper part is concave lens, and the uh, concave lens and corrects the nearsightedness. In my previous lecture, I explained you for a nearsightedness, uh, the people use the concave lens. And for farsightedness, the people use a convex lens. Convex lens. Okay. So, in case of both defects, they use the, the upper part. The upper part of the lens um, having a concave lens and correct the nearsightedness. While the lower part is a convex lens and which corrects the farsightedness. So, uh, the third defects press biopia. Okay. So, uh, I hope you under, understood this uh, defects also. Here total three defects uh, of vision, nearsightedness, then farsightedness and press biopia. In the case of nearsightedness, people use a concave lens. Okay. In, uh, in a farsightedness, people use a convex lens. This is a convex lens. And for a press biopia, they use a bifocal lens. Clear? Then, in case of nearsightedness, people um, can see the clear image of uh, nearby object. And uh, in case of farsightedness, people can see the uh, clear image of distinct object. Of distinct object. And um, in this case, the people having a both defects, nearsightedness and as well as farsightedness. So, I hope you understood today's lecture, student. If you have any query, you can message.